Batch Supplier Invoice When you receive an invoice from a supplier, if you're not using the Purchase Orders option to record the purchase, a batch invoice can be created instead. Let's look at this now. From the Suppliers module, click Batch Invoice. The Batch Supplier Invoice window opens. An asterisk next to a column heading indicates data must be entered in the box. From the A-C drop-down, select the required supplier then click OK. If no supplier record exists, to create a new one on the fly, click New. Alternatively, use the search box to help you find the supplier instead. For example, if I enter Computer, then click Search. Any supplier records containing the word computer appear here. Once selected, some of the boxes are automatically populated. The Attach column enables you to attach relevant documents to the supplier invoice. For example, if your supplier sends their invoices electronically. To attach a document, click the plus sign, then drag and drop the required file here. Alternatively, browse for it here. Multiple attachments can be added, each up to a maximum size of 5 megabytes. If you attach a file in error, to delete it, click the Remove icon. Once you're happy, click OK. The date box is populated with the current program date. This can be changed if required. If you're entering several invoices for a different date, the default program date can be changed from Settings, Change Program Date. Once the date is selected, the due on date is populated based on the payment due days set in the supplier record. In this example, invoice payment is due 45 days after the invoice date calculating the due on date as 6th of April. This can also be changed if required. In the ref box, enter the supplier invoice number. You have up to 30 alphanumeric characters. In the X ref box, enter any additional reference for the invoice. For example, your purchase order number. Again, you have up to 30 alphanumeric characters. The N slash C box is populated with the default nominal code applied in the supplier record. To change this, click the drop down and select a different nominal code. The department box is also populated with the default department applied in the supplier record. To change this, Click the drop down and select a different department. The project ref and cost code boxes appear only in Sage 50 Accounts Professional. To assign a project to the invoice, click each drop down and select the required option. In the details box, enter a description for the items purchased. Alternatively, enter generic text. For example, goods. You have up to 60 alphanumeric characters. In the net box, enter the net value of the invoice, then press either the tab or enter key. The T slash C box is populated with the default tax code applied in the supplier record. This can be changed if required. In this example, the default tax code is T1, 20%. If the goods being purchased are exempt from tax, this can be changed to T2, exempt. Please note, if you are not registered for VAT, enter the gross invoice amount in the net box and change the tax code to T9. The VAT box is automatically calculated based on the net amount and tax code selected. If there's a rounding difference between the VAT amount shown in the VAT box 
and the VAT amount shown on the supplier invoice. This can be amended accordingly. The gross box is automatically calculated based on the net amount and VAT amount. To amend the gross value, either the net, tax code, or VAT boxes must be changed. For example, for an invoice for £420, including VAT, rather than £420 plus VAT, calculate the net and VAT split by entering the gross value in the net box. Then from the toolbar, select Calculate Net or press the F9 function key. The net, VAT, and gross amounts are then changed accordingly. The disputed column appears only in Sage 50 Accounts Professional, versions 28.1 and above, and allows a supplier invoice to be marked as disputed as it's created. To mark an invoice as disputed, click the drop-down, then select an appropriate reason. We'll look at the final four columns in a separate video. For now, our first supplier invoice is complete. To save the invoice, click Save. Alternatively, further invoices can be created within the window. Once you're happy, click Save. To close the Batch Supplier Invoice window, click Close.